What is up, YouTube family? Oh, my dumpster peeps. How in the heck are you guys? So, I'm on my way to pick up Miss Beth, and we're gonna go dumpster diving. Oh, yeah. So, hopefully, we have as good a luck as we had last time, if not more, because last time we checked so many dumpsters and only had luck at three. But the luck we had at three was straight cray. <laughs> so I'll take that again if it happens. But I mean, I'm hoping we get like a little out of each dumpster. That would be kind of cool. So I'm not even sure where all we're going. I told her that we're going to go to two of our normal towns that we go to every once in a while. And then we'll check the go-to town which I call it the go-to town because it's my go-to town where I always go to. That's why it's called that. That's why I call it that. I'm hoping that we'll get through all these towns pretty fast because this girl, I need some sleep. I am working on not very much sleep lately because of how busy we are at work. We were closed for the past three weeks. Um, we just opened up last Monday and so we've been open for like no more than that i don't even know we've been open for over a week and it's just like people are straight crazy pouring out of their houses and coming out to eat because you figure people haven't been able to go out to eat for three weeks haven't been able to go to a bar and have a drink so people were acting like they've never been out before <laughs> Which it's great. I ain't complaining because I am making money finally. Thank you, Jesus. Because that whole takeout only business, that just ain't going to pay the bills. You know what I'm saying? So I'm super excited that we're finally fully open. I mean, we're not fully open. You still are only allowed to have like 25 or 50% capacity. But still, it's that, I'll take that. <laughs> I will take that. So we have been crazy busy crazy busy and then we had a girl quit and of course it was the girl that was my waitress and waitress on Saturday nights and Sunday nights so that I could just be the bartender well she decided to just no call no show and now I am the waitress and the bartender and <laughs> Sunday night was rough man rough I was so freaking busy Oh goodness, but I managed, so that's all that matters. But I, like I said, I ain't complaining. I am so thankful we are finally open. But anyway, I'm gonna stop blabbing. Let's go pick up Miss Beth and let's go jump in some dumpsters. Good old Ollie's. Empty. That sucks. Go check Joey Ian's. Oh, and we found more. Well, I didn't find Beth was like, well, there's a pet dumpster in Sally Beauty here, and we totally never checked it. So we're gonna check that tonight too. So hopefully we'll find stuff in there. All right, Joanne, what you got good today? Nothing on my side. There's stuff over here. Oh. We can donate that, that's some kind of baby blanket. Somebody, uh, illegal dumpster. Yep, that's what it is. Illegal dumpster. Yep, for sure. What's in there? <laughs> These things are pretty cool. Can you get out? That was the weirdest way to get out of the dumpster. <laughs> I found, my glasses are all jacked up. I found a Sally's, check this out. Guess what's in here? Curlers, brand new. Sorry, I didn't uh, take you guys out because we weren't finding anything and I was like, man, there's probably nothing. But we found that in the garbage bag and that was it. And then, um, what else did we find? Oh, um, we found the pet store dumpster. It was empty, sadly, but now we know where it's at. And now we're going to go check Aldi's and see if there's anything in that one because everywhere else has been empty. Green tea. Is it in there? 
that's it. Drop and run. <laughs> yep, that's everything. Sorry, guys. I had to run. Oh, I'm cold. My fingers are burning. <laughs> the wind. That's what got me, the wind. Ooh. Oh my wow, it's cold. Yeah, we need gloves for sure. <laughs> Ooh, my fingers are hurting. On to the next. That's yeah. awesome. Holding that lid. A thing. brand new stroller. Oh, curtain the door's door. open. My curtain. <laughs> Open. For real, my car door's open. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I thought I closed it. Oh, yeah, it's not closing. Oh, Something. curtain rods in the way? Yep. Yeah, that's lovely. I was just driving away with my <laughs> car door wide open. <laughs> I was like, what's so cold? <laughs> only me, guys, only me. My hands hurt, they're so cold. I saw you shut it, it was just stuck. <laughs> was All right, we're gonna go to Joanne's now. That's awesome. I can't believe we finally got stuff there. I left that toy there because it was in a million pieces and who knows if all the pieces are even there. And I have to be a little selective in what I'm taking because I'm running out of room in my office and we're going to be moving our outdoor furniture in the she shed. So <laughs> I'm going to be losing that too. All right, I'm going to go check. Here, just hold that. I'm going to check real quick. Nothing. Oh my god. There's shit in them. Oh god, there it is. Jump in it. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't believe we found this stuff. Oh, jeez. Dollar General. That's the parking lot there. Parking lot funk. <laughs> what is my face? Oh. Yeah, they opened it all. Yep. Everything's open. Nothing in this one. That's all right. That's the one we got all the soda out of the other night. So I ain't mad at it. <laughs> Still got lots more to check. Go check Michael's now. Yeah, everyone was like, you need to back your car up. I'm like, we, uh, we, need, we need headlights <laughs> to record. There's here. no lights. This is the darkest part Yeah, and we kind of need headlights in order to record, guys, or else you guys aren't going to see anything with just yeah. our headlamps empty. Nope. What is that? Why is there a tail over there? Is there an animal in there? Do you see that tail? Yeah, that's right here. Looks like it's on a hood or something. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, is that a skunk? Here, I'll reach down and see if I can grab the bag. That's a nice jacket. That's a good jacket we just found. That's it. That looks like that's it though. We can drop this in the... Oh yeah. That's box at least. We'll find the box. Is there a tag on there? A tag on that's it. what I thought. It looks like the jacket we just got. <laughs> Burlington too. It does look like the jacket we just got. I'm not joking. <laughs> Yeah, it does, huh? Looks about the same size and everything. That's brand spanking new. And this, does this have a tag on it? Or is this? That's old, it looks like. Because it looks like it has a company name. Oh, uh, Army Corps of Engineers. Yeah, I can donate that. I swear, that looks like the jacket we just got. All right, Dollar General. So, ooh, there's stuff today. Is there anything good though? 
they're all ripped open again. Big home score. There's, I think there's more in there. Oh yeah, there's stuff down there. I'm gonna have to get in. I thought I heard a candle. There's a candle. Watch you don't cut yourself. I'm putting this. Box here. I think that might be it. This looks like dirt. <laughs> yeah. Coconut green. it and I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna jack it all up <laughs> nice thank you DG we never get much here. nothing here that was awesome and we got a candle dumpster score guys it has been months really? I mean it's only what three candles and one yeah. wallflower but yeah. I'll take it <laughs> all right Dollar Tree let's see if there's any Today. You know that I'm a keep it cool with you. I feel like breaking rules on the edge, looking now with no parachute. You know, I'm dreaming about us too, playing around without a clue on the edge, screening now with us. It's all or nothing. bottles in there. They took the lids off of a bunch of them and dumped them out and then there was a whole huge bag oh, with hundreds of balloons. With hundreds of Valentine's Day balloons. They sliced every single one. Like and why? The, and the little teeny Valentine's and, gift bags. Yeah, gift bags. Valentine's Day. Like yeah, it know. hasn't even happened yet. Why are you slicing them? It's been about a month ago. So that oh, goodness. But hey, we got some more dish soap. <laughs> So Beth's gonna take two of those because I really don't need any more. Oh my goodness, I I'll keep still one. Have so much. I just gave you more tonight too. Oh my goodness. <laughs> There's some in your box I gave oh you. Oh my god, yeah, I have so much now. I haven't I won't have to buy so no. Nope. Neither of us. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, that's gonna do it. Thank you for hanging out with us and I'll see you tomorrow on the yeah. full reveal. Welcome to the full reveal. Oh my goodness, guys. <laughs> In the beginning of the video, I was like, if we could just get a little bit out of each dumpster, that would be awesome. And what happened? <laughs> we literally got a little bit out of almost every dumpster, which was amazeballs. But before we get into that, I wanted to share with you guys, I got a gift in the mail yesterday? Yes, no. Uh, yesterday or a day ago, I don't know. My days are all discombobulated and squished together because I've been working like crazy. But 
Miss Rachel Cherry sent Beth and I and my girls and my husband some gifts in the mail. And she is so absolutely sweet. She even sent Peanut something. So I just wanted to sh say thank you to Miss Rachel Cherry. You are so very kind and I loved everything. First of all, Peanut already has this sweater that you bought him, but he's already grown out of it. So this is the next size up and I am so excited <laughs> because I think this will fit him next winter also, at least I'm hoping. <laughs> so thank you so much. She also sent my girls each a coloring book, a packet of crayons and some gummy unicorns, which are already gone. They love them. And she sent my hubby some Steelers magnets for on the fridge and a Merrill Hodge football card, which he absolutely loved. So thank you so much. And then for Beth and I, <laughs> check out these shirts, guys. Oh, my word. Varsity Dumpster Diving Team. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much. Uh, I did not get Beth on camera opening hers. So she got the same shirt, but in a different color. So thank you so much, Miss Rachel. That was so sweet of you. And we love everything. Also, this was the last dumpster dive in the Kia, guys. The Kia went bye bye She's all gone and mama got a new ride. <laughs> I got, um, what the heck is it? A Chevy Traverse, which has third row seating and it's an SUV. So it has so much more room. Once I put the third row seats down, my trunk is massive. So this is like the perfect dumpster diving mobile. <laughs> I'll show you guys in the next dumpster dive though. All right, enough blabbing. Let's get into all the goodies. So the first town that we went to, we didn't have a lot of luck, sadly. Um, I did find the Sally Beauty Dumpster and I didn't think there was anything in it. And then I was looking through the two bags that were in the dumpster and I noticed something bright pink. And I was like, what is that? Oh, it's a set of really expensive curlers. Mm -hmm. Beth said these are so much money and they're brand spanking new. I just dumped them all over the floor. So these are super expensive. Beth told me I did not know that. So I think this is the one that you need like the little stick. I wonder if that's in here. It is. They are. <laughs> there's a whole bunch of different ones. How cool is that? So there's these orange ones, which you get a ton of curlers too. Once I pick them all up off the dang floor, don't worry, my floor's clean. <laughs> So you get all those orange ones and then all of these pink ones, which are a little shorter, I think, or are they the same? No, they're like the same. That's a ton of curlers. Plus you get this super cute bag that has the purple on the inside. And then I guess this is what you use to pull the curlers through your hair and like so that they wrap around. Oh, I see, I see. So they're long, so if you have longer hair. I see, okay, okay. I'm gonna have to look up and see how much this is and I'll put it on the screen for you guys. So the next dumpster we went to was Aldi's and there wasn't that much in that dumpster, shockingly. Usually it's overflowing, but we got a bunch of Arizona green tea, a whole 24 pack. I'm not sure if all 24, oh no, it's a 12 pack. I'm not sure if all 12 are in there, but there's a good amount. And then I got seven out of a 12 pack of the Lemoncello LaCroix. Not too shabby there. And I also got, I was digging around when I was getting ready to get out and Beth was already at the car and I found hand sanitizer, a full bottle. All right, where did we go next? Oh, we did find some other stuff in that town. Let's move on down and I'll show you. So we stopped at the Joanne's dumpster next and I seen a few things in the dumpster and I was like, wait a minute, this isn't, this isn't stuff from Joanne's. It's somebody's illegal dumpage, but it was awesome stuff. So I found the star shower slideshow. This thing, do you know how much I paid for ours? Oh my goodness, when they first came out, I want to say it was $50. Oh my goodness. I think all of it's in here. Everything's here. Oh, I see. It's broken right here. But it still should work. I mean, you would think, right? 
I don't know. I'll have to try it out. But they have Santa Claus, um, ghosts, hearts, trees, reindeers, balloons, stars, little rabbits. So I'll give this a whirl, even though it's cracked right there, and see if it still works. Oh yeah, here's all the slides in the box. So how about that? It even came with all the slides. All 12 of them are in here. So that is awesome. We'll test that bad boy out, and if it works, that's a maze balls, and I'm keeping that bad boy. <laughs> and then the other thing that I found in that dumpster was this baby. I don't know what it is. It's a baby something. Oh, this is a um, um, da, 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 da. <laughs> spit it out, Shannon. Uh, a buggy cover, a grocery cart. <laughs> People in Pittsburgh call them buggies. I don't know. <laughs> But you put this over the seat, that way your baby doesn't touch the actual cart and put their mouse or anything on it. So that is an amazing donation. So I will be donating that and it looks brand new. There's no stains on it. There's no fuzz right there. Oh, we'll take that. Oh, and look what fell out. A little unicorn hair tie. I'll wash that and give it to the girls. That then we headed to, um, the next town and we stopped at Dollar General and inside that dumpster was a million magazines. Sadly, I have to be a little bit picky on what I'm taking because right now my office is filled with garland and Christmas cards <laughs> because I have to start making up the packages. So I, I just can't take a million magazines. Plus I don't sell those very fast as, unless they're the ones from Joanne's that have like the sewing and crocheting kits in them. So I don't take those. And right now our nursing homes, I know a lot of you say donate them to your local nursing home. We can't right now because of COVID. So I, I don't take things unless I know I can get rid of them or I can donate them. So I did get a Clementine and Honey hand soap. We got a cranberry juice of some sort with no label <laughs> brand new lint roller which i desperately needed one of these the other day so i'm glad i found one a open bag of ring pops which my girls love these but the ring pops on the inside are in individual packages so those are just that oh the magazines beth forgot these in my car she wanted the halloween uh, better homes and gardens and the halloween treats magazines so I'll give those to her tonight. And what else did we get? A country sampler farmhouse. Oh, and also in um, Joanne's, we also got this Avon body wash and it's completely full. So one person's trash is another's treasure. <laughs> then we left that town and we headed to the go-to town hoping that we would have some better luck. So we started at Home Goods, nothing. Then we went over to Burlington and oh, my goodness, guys, we got so much stuff. When I first glanced in there, we seen the stroller, but I didn't see all the other stuff. So, so I, <laughs> I can't talk today until I started moving the bags. And I was like, oh my goodness, there is some cool stuff in here. Check this out. We got a pair of men's Calvin Klein, like dress shoes. Those are nice shoes. These were $29.99. Then there's men's size 11. We got a woman's size six boot. Um, the zipper is broken on one. That is why they threw them away. I'm pretty sure that's an easy fix. If you know how to fix zippers, that wouldn't be too hard of a fix. It's just detached from the other side. But look at how cute those boots are. I got a summer romance, what is this? air freshener. It's missing the little top, but you can just throw any top on there and it'll work. Microderma cordless portable pour suction. It says it's broken, but we all know what, you know. Sometimes people return things and say it's broken and it's not. So I will put batteries in here and see if it works and all the attachments are there. I got this little orchid type thing. I don't know. It went in a little vase, but obviously the vase was broken, but I have millions of vases and I thought that was cute. So I grabbed it. But this little, um, I don't know what this is. <laughs> I guess you can put like a tea light candle in there. It is, um, kind of bent, but 
I'm pretty sure I can have my husband bend this back and fix it. So I'm gonna have him try and fix that and then I just need to glue this little gem back in place. What is this? Tommy Hilfiger dress, women's dress. Look at how cute that is. The zipper is broken. It is there, it's just disconnected again as per the huge, but if you know how to sew and you know how to fix zippers, that's an easy fix. And this dress was $40 and on clearance for 20 there. I mean, that is a super cute dress. What size is this? Size four. Way too small for me. <laughs> My thigh might fit in that, that's about it. We got this. Boomin wireless speaker system and mic, and it is all in there, but I don't know if it works. So I'm gonna have to try this out and see if it works. But if it does, my girls are going to love this. So hopefully that does work. Okay, so here's the story with these coats. I grabbed one coat out of the dumpster, which was this one, out of Burlington. It's a $35 kid's coat. I mean, this is a warm coat. So this one was in Burlington's dumpster. When we left Burlington and went and checked Michael's, you seen me grab a bag out. And Beth was like, that looks like the same coat that we just got at Burlington. And wouldn't you know it, the bag that was thrown in Michael's was from another dumpster diver and they threw away the things that they didn't want in the Michael's dumpster. So whoever did that, shame on you. You could have threw the coat into the vet's box or into a clothing box, any clothes, there's millions. All you gotta do is drop it in a box. So whoever did that, that really burns my biscuits. If you're gonna be a dumpster diver and take what you want, that's fine, all power to you. But if there's things you don't want that are still perfectly good, donate them or give them away to somebody you know that needs a coat. There is no need for it to be in that dumpster. So we found this one in the dumpster and this is also a size eight and it also has the tag on it. So we got two of the same coats, brand spanking new. So these are going to be donated to Beverly's birthdays. We also got some little kids pink gloves, which I'll give to my girls because they always need gloves. And now we're back at Burlington, by the way. <laughs> Don't let me confuse you. We got some Skechers Active socks. So mama got some new socks. <laughs> And then check this out. I don't know if these work. I hope, well, if it works, I hope it does, but I'm not sure. A water resistant smartwatch, Q7 smartwatch. And it has the pink band and it comes with the extra gray band. So this says it's compatible with a Samsung Galaxy S10 and higher, an Apple iPhone X devices and higher. There's no charger in here. So I'm gonna see if I can figure out how you charge these because I've never owned a smartwatch. When it comes to smartwatches, I, I know nothing. So I'll see if I can get it to charge and if it works. And if it does, and it works with my phone, I might keep it. That I thought was a pretty good score. I know these aren't cheap. I'm not sure how much it was. There's no price, who knows, but that's pretty awesome. We got these little Rudolph reindeer socks, little kids socks. I got this little glass jar, it was $3.99 there. And I thought that would be cute with a little flower in it, like in your bathroom. Shower thingamabob, <laughs> shower adapter thingamajiggy, you know, you hook up to your bath. So I don't need one of these, but I will donate that. We got a curtain rod, which I don't know if this is broke, like bent. Let's see. Yeah, it's pretty bent, but my husband might be able to straighten it. I'm not sure, but if not, it'll be garbage because can't salvage everything, but hopefully he can straighten that out for me. Oh, check out this adorable home rug. How stinking cute. That's going outside of my front door. <laughs> and then the best thing we found was a $70 Graco stroller. And it's all there. So let's pull it apart and see if it works. All right, I haven't worked one of these in a while, so <laughs> don't make fun of me. Here's the cover for the top. All right, let's see if I can figure this out here. Three hours later, maybe I'll figure it out. Oh, I got it, I got it. <laughs> oh 
my God, guys, it is in perfect condition. This is brand spanking new, but that is awesome. How stinking cool is that? That is an amazing find, and I'm super excited about that. We also went to Bath and Body Works, and oh my goodness, I know we didn't get a lot, but I am so super excited. <laughs> we got a strawberry pound cake, almost completely burnt candle. We got a broken, never lit sea salt and balsam. That smells pretty good. I'm gonna give this to Beth because it's the full one. I know it's broken, but she can at least um, cut it up into wax melts. And then an almost completely burnt cher Japanese cherry blossom. One wallflower. I'm not sure the scent, but it smells really good. Or I'm not sure the scent, but it smells really good. But there's no lid. Oh wait, looks like the tag's in there. Let's see. Black tie is what this is. We went to the next Dollar General and we at first didn't think there was much in there. And then I jumped in. I found a brand new garbage can. I found Coconut Dream. Oh no, they're cracked right there. So that's probably why they threw them away. So those are garbage. Three boxes of Hostess birthday cupcakes. Six, seven boxes of Ding Dongs. <laughs> I can't. I have so many slider gallon bags, it's unbelievable. <laughs> Two more freezer slider gallon Ziploc baggies. I, I have so many of these. I just, I don't know what to do with them all. One package of Ritz crackers. The box has seen better days, but as you know, if you buy Ritz, the crackers on the inside are um, individually wrapped, so they'll be just fine. And I just bought Ritz crackers, so <laughs> dang it. So I'll take these to the free pantry. A lot of this stuff's going to the free pantry, Beverly's birthdays, and some of my coworkers. And I had a rude comment. Somebody was like, why are you taking it to your coworkers? Why don't you take it to people that are needy? Um, my coworkers are in need. Like, they're struggling just like a lot of other people are. So I give it to people that I know that are in need, and I donate it to people I don't know that are in need. So... I donate a lot of stuff. I donate more than I keep. If you're new to my channel, please, I beg you, go back and watch my, my older videos. You will see I donate to a lot of shelters, a lot of nonprofit organizations, coworkers, family, friends, anybody that needs things that I can help them with, I donate the stuff to. I also got a bag of adult cat food, so this will go to the no-kill shelter and this candle from Dollar General as well. Then, um, where did, oh, I think I got this from, I don't know where I got this. I can't remember, <laughs> but I got another uh, reusable bag. Then we went to the Dollar Tree, which was the last dumpster we went to, and at first I was like, man, there ain't gonna be nothing in here, and then I found a whole case of this totally awesome dish soap. I got three bottles. I gave Beth two, and I took one because I have so much already, but so does she because I keep giving her some. <laughs> but um, I'm not gonna keep that. I'll take that to work with me for one of the guys in the back. And that is it, guys. That is everything we got. But we got some pretty high price items, which I'm super excited about. Of course, there are some items that need fix with broken zippers, but you'll have that. And I mean, those are pretty easy fixes if you know how to do it. I don't, but <laughs> most people do anyway. Um, this speaker and microphone, I really hope this works for my girls because they will love this. Ava loves to sing karaoke, so <laughs> she will be so excited if this works. So I'm hoping it does. And hopefully this works too. So I have a lot of things to test out to see if they work, but I'm hoping they do. And a lot of things to donate, like I said. So that is everything. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us at the dumpsters and me today in the reveal. Until next time, guys, I will talk to you all in those comments down below. And as always, happy diving. Bye, guys. And this just goes to show you guys, whenever you find something in the dumpster and it says it doesn't work, put batteries in it and test it. This is the poor sucker. It works perfectly. See? So, yeah. Make sure you put batteries in it and test them out because pretty much everything I found works. <laughs> <laughs>